It's hot. Real hot. Oh look. <laughs> Swap trailers out again. Running the enclosed. Now you guys know that I run the enclosed in the spring and the fall. And then in the summer, set you down for a minute. And then in the summer, I run the open because it's too hot and I have vapor locking issues with mowers and other equipment. But it's kind of a storage issue right now. I have my four wheeler in the garage and doing brakes at it. I have just a bunch of other stuff going on and I need the storage space. I need the storage space that this enclosed provides me. So that's the deal. I'm walking in circles here. I mow this property. You guys have seen it a million times. Pull that light out. I'm gonna trim it out and then mow it. I'm not gonna film it, but I'm gonna just give you guys. It's for sale and it's a nice, beautiful house, but they want way too much money for it. So, obviously, it's been for sale since well, halfway through winter. And it still isn't sold. So, and that's it. It always grows real thick up to about there where you can see, and then that barely grows. Same way all the time. Nothing grows underneath the edge there. And then this strip here and what you saw in the front and that's it nice easy lawn and I go from here and I mow another one around the corner and then after that then I go and mow another house that is owned by the same people as this one here so run the Great Dane I ran the Ferris all day on Friday and Friday has a lot of my real big lawns out in the country and the Ferris cut great it cut really really well I'll try to mount you guys here somehow so I can talk to you for a minute if you don't mind the bouncing around but anyway so the ferris cut really great all day and uh, did a beautiful job but I definitely decided real quick that it is not a Friday mower for me for two reasons one it is painfully slow it's just not a fast mower and who knows how many hours there could be 5,000 hours on that mower for all I know I doubt it I think it's closer to two but nobody knows there's no hour meter on it I don't think there ever has been but it's a great running mower and it's a great cutting mower the other reason why it's not a Friday mower for me is it just it beats me up it beats me up with my bad knees and everything else um, being on that Velky all day especially on those big properties and they're not smooth properties at all it just kicks my butt so that is uh that's pretty much that so um i am i don't know i think i pretty much decided a lot of people have given me a lot of suggestions i have tried out my buddy's uh ferris z3 what an awesome mower definitely a cool mower but I think it's just way way overkill for what I need um, I think it's like a tank and uh, it, it's not that cheap I'm still wearing my hat these things work awesome um, but I really really think I'm gonna end up going with a Stander X 52 I really like it um, and it's it's got the size cutting deck that I need I do not need another 61 I have a 61 I don't need it it's just all my really really big properties I gave away this year to Ryan um, I do have some pretty large ones but nothing a 52 cannot handle easily so um, 52 is the size that I want to go with no matter what kind of mower I, I choose but 52 um, and that thing is such a compact mower um, I really like it so I do not want the ZK that's more mower than I need plain plain and simple there's a reason that I've been in business this long and have been able to survive through these droughts we've been having every other year lately and a lot of guys keep going under I don't buy excessive shit that I don't need I mean yeah I buy 
a lot of tools and you know I, I buy other stuff like that but I don't when it comes to like a a truck I didn't like when I went and bought this last truck it's a 2500 um, which I probably could have got away with another half ton but it was a really good deal so I got it but I didn't go for a one ton I'm not putting a big eight foot V plow on it because I don't need it it's just a lot of extra money to spend for shit that I do not need I can easily do everything I need to do with the truck that I bought and the same thing goes with the mowers you know a ZK 61 I mean I, I have an 800 FICO score I can go and buy any mower I want that's not the problem the problem is that why am I going to spend an additional two three thousand dollars on something I don't need when the standard X will do exactly what I need and have plenty of power to do it so um, just kind of trying to sum things up because I, I mean I just know from all the comments I get constantly on everything I know where a lot of you guys will go with this and what a lot of you guys will say man oh you go go to the ZK go to the ZK you go buy ZK you know what do you care if I have a ZK or not it, it means nothing to you so you want a ZK you go buy a ZK I just I don't need it so in the Z3 with a 61 inch deck or whatever with a 61 inch deck I don't need it there's no need for that mower so All right, so I guess I did decide to record some of this, but uh, you guys have seen this video or this lawn before many times from different angles, actually. Usually I park out on the road, but there is a, you can't see if there's a tractor trailer across the road. Um, they're gonna be paving that driveway over there and there's a sign in this front yard. Apparently they're gonna be repaving this one as well. But, um, so it's just as easy to just back right into the driveway. It's nice and wide, easy to do. So also gave me a good place to mount a camera today. But, you know, as you can tell, it's, uh, I'm just cruising along on the Great Dane again. This thing still mows fantastic. It's really a great mower and I will probably keep it even after I buy a new one as a good backup mower. Um, it has a 52 inch deck and it is adjustable. Uh, it's not a fixed deck, but you do have to press down on the bars on each side and move the pins on each side. And there's only one on each side, but you still have to do that to adjust the height, which can be a real pain in the butt, especially when you're used to mowers with, uh, you know, you just change the height from either in the seat or standing on the platform. Uh, also, the other thing is there is no suspension to this platform you stand on at all, so it it, it gets very bumpy and it beats the heck out of you and you know any of you guys that have been in this industry for long enough will testify to the fact that you know fatigue from being on a mower definitely determines the amount of lawns you're going to do that day especially when you're a solo guy and you're doing all the trimming all the edging everything out all the blowing off everything else by yourself as well so you know getting beat up on a mower makes a big difference in that and uh you know, that was the one thing I could say about the Skag Tiger Cat that I had before with that suspension seat, which blows the grammar seat for walkers out of the water. The grammar seat for walkers are great that they're suspension, but the padding sucks. Just sucks. Horrible. But being on that Skag, you know, you can mow all day long, and it was being on a lazy boy. So that was one good thing about it. But, you know, in case someone's about to ask right now, no, I do not miss the mower. Um, so... We'll see where we go from here. Not 100% definite that I will go with that Stander X, but it's looking like it might be. So um, we will see. And like I mentioned before, that Walker B is for sale for a good price if anybody wants it.